Well, we're still working on the uh, Bachman consolidations. Yes. And uh, Don and I are both doing uh, Silverton Northern number 34. Well, that's a neat engine. It's a really neat engine. And uh, but look at there's a there's a hatch on the sand dome. Well, there sure is. <laughs> well, and of course there's a hatch on the sand dome. There has to be a hatch on the sand dome because you have to be able to get that open. And on the other locomotive that I'm doing, uh, Mexicano 14, that has an even larger hatch on the sand dome. Boy, I'll say. And for some reason, it had just never occurred to me that the model, as delivered from Bachman has no cover on its sand dome. It's just a dome. <laughs> it's just, a, it's bald. <laughs> it's just the dome up bald there. Bald one. Good point. I guess that's why they call it a bald one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Don had already uh, planned on, on addressing this problem, and he sent this photograph of his solution, and it was like, oh, dang. Yes. That's really neat. I like it. And so, well, we've got to do that. Exactly. And I thought, well, we don't need to go quite as elaborate as Dawn. Maybe we can just cast some sort of a lid up there uh -huh. and just, just have a lid glued on there. <laughs> do the it job. You know, it just, just so it looks like there's a cover. Right. So I headed for the source of all human knowledge, the Internet. Yep. And I asked Professor Google to show us any models that anybody else had created. And... Uh, that one is particularly impressive. I like that one. That's that's neat. And it looks it looks to me like they just made a cover. Right. And so let's just do that. Let's just make a cover for Okay, we'll see what we can come up with. So I pulled a mold off of our C19 mm -hmm. and its sand dome cover and we cast one up and uh, well It looks like a flying saucer <laughs> UFO. <laughs> the day the earth stood still. <laughs> so, well, I think we could probably come up with something. This ain't it. No, I, you know, that's out. <laughs> and I, as I'm looking at Dawn's, it's like, no, that's just too cool. It is. Let's just do what Dawn did. Right. Enough of this screwing around. If, you know, <laughs> now he's got a lathe and he can do some stuff that we can't, but we should still be able to come up with something good. Right. So here's version one. Uh, of course, we have to make two because we're doing two locomotives. And it's a little different than Dawn's uh -huh. in that we don't have a lathe to turn the little cap on here. So we we did our usual cheat. We, we went over to Joanne's and bought a button. Button, button. Who's <laughs> got the button, right? <laughs> well, they've got a lot of buttons over there, and as it happens, they had one that was perfect. Yeah, she pushed all of them. And I should say they had two that were perfect, because again, we have to make two of these. So right. that's a that's a buttons from Joanne. Looks like it's closed to me. Well, that's rather materialistic. <laughs> well, at least it's buttoned up and beautiful. <laughs> I have to say it does lack the sophistication of Don's. Well, yeah. No, well, I don't know. His is pretty good. His huh. is pretty darn neat. But yeah. I think ours will do. It will. Now, the very first thing you have to do is get the top off of the sand dome so that you can drill it out and put a hatch on there. Oh my. And as it happens, um, Bachman has seen fit to glue that on there using like a white glue. Right. So that you can break it free. Uh, break being the operative word. You don't want to break the whole thing. That's why you get back on the internet make sure there's a replacement part should you need it. We ordered some just in case because yes. I figured I would screw it up. But it, it does come off with encouragement. Yes. A lot of encouragement and several broken fingernails. <laughs> now, as I don't have a lathe, I had to just sort of eyeball the hole to try to get it in the center. And mostly, I had to sort of cheat it over a little bit, but I mostly was able to find the center and get that properly drilled out. And then Don gave us some of this uh, white evergreen tube that he had purchased for his project. And I went ahead and fit that in there, and there it is. It doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad, and it's mostly in the center. Mm -hmm. It's close. It's close enough. Close enough. <laughs> now, the cap itself, uh, Don gave us the uh, telescoping tube that fits inside there, and I glued the button from Joanne's on there, and the holes in the button are too big, so I just uh, stuck some uh, 
some copper tubes in there, some K&S copper tube, and filled in the holes. Well, that worked out well. And then used the fine wire to go into that. Now, as we have mentioned in the past, if you're going to bend wires uh, for this kind of project, you need wire bending pliers. Oh, it's so much easier. <laughs> so a, a square set and mostly the round set here is critical because you're not going to be able to make these smooth, rounded uh, loops like this without uh, round wire bending pliers. Right. And there's one finished right there, stuck up on top of the sand dome. Well, it doesn't look too bad. I think it's okay. It'll it'll do the job. And the neat thing is it opens. Isn't that cool? And so, just as Don did, I used the bottom side of the loop to attach a bit of chain. And we have all this jewelry chain around, because right. you do all this jewelry. Right. And uh, we had given a length of this to Don to use on his. And so we just grabbed some of the appropriate sized chain and did the same thing. Hooked that to the bottom side of the handle. Yes. Same thing Don had done. Right. It then requires connecting the other length of chain, the other end of the chain, somewhere inside the sand dome. And so we just simply glued that to the side of the sand dome using some CA glue. Right. And uh, I made the first one kind of long, like this and it hangs way down. I thought, well, that's okay. Right. Uh, but for the second one, I thought, well, I'm gonna do a little more like Dawn, a little shorter length of chain so it doesn't hang down quite as far when it's open. Closed, of course, they look exactly the same. Oh, isn't that neat though? But it turns out nice. Yeah. I'm happy with it. Me too. And now a bit of paint. I didn't feel like I needed to shoot any primer on here. I thought that the Mr. Color Flat Black would go directly on the plastic as it's a lacquer paint. Right. And should adhere itself very nicely, uh, and, and it does. For the most part, it's sticking quite well to the plastic. And there it is with the paint on there. That looks really good. Now I'm going to come back and rust the chain. Ah. Because I don't like it looking like that. One problem is as you open and close it, it scrapes the paint off of there. Oh, no. And that's just going to be a thing that's, that's definitely going to happen. And uh, I think what I'm going to do when I do the final weathering is come back and add some of that chrome pencil stuff. Yeah, make stuff. it look like metal. Yeah, that, that trick that um, Jason Jensen uses right. with a graphite pencil. Right. Because that won't scrape off of there and it'll just look like bare metal showing through. Right. Anyway, it's fun to have a working sand dome cover. Everything when it works is just fun. It's just fun or gives you something to mess around with when you feel like messing around with something. Well, it makes it more accurate. <laughs> well, on now to marker lights. Oh, boy. And that'll be next week's show is uh, we're adding, Dawn is adding and we're adding, we're putting marker lights on all three locomotives. Yes, and they work. And they, and they work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that will be next week's uh, Tuesday show. So, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, you'll want to be a subscriber so you can follow along with this series and, and keep up with it. Right, in case we end up in any more fabric stores. <laughs> <laughs> and the easy way to do that would be with the blue button. Are we ready for it? Yep. Zoink! Right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you don't find any of this boring. Oh boy! <laughs> We don't want to be boring, and we will see you here on Sunday with something. Yes. See ya. Bye. Bye.